What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and today we're just going to be taking a very quick look at the match pass. A few people asking me about this, mostly newcomers to the series. There's a lot of people downloading the game and so yeah obviously we will just go through the match pass and show you what it's all about right. So this regular match pass obviously everyone will know that this is free. If you are a newcomer very quickly it's a free match pass that you just play through. So everything you see here with a tick beside is just from playing games. Win, lose or draw it doesn't matter. You can play against the AI, you can play online, you can play offline, you just can't play friend matches. Um, they don't count towards it or trial match obviously against your, your friends locally or whatever. Now this free one right is pretty decent as we always get. We get our three star, we can buy any of these players, sign any of these players with the three star. I have a review up on any all those players. We also have, I think it's a total of 100,000 uh, trainer programs or trainer points. We get another three star here. So we get two three stars. We get a four star, which means you can buy Mudrik, who looks like, I don't know, man. He I don't know why he looks as bad as he does. He needs a face upgrade or any of these players, including Wakehurst. And of course, a couple of more here, Vardy. We also get more trainer points. And then after 15 games, we can get a 96 rated Felix. Or we can get Sommer, who are two of the best players in it. Or this guy, Oyarzabal, who is very, very underrated. It's good to see that he is getting a club icon card because this guy has been a bit of a hidden gem for the last couple of months in the game. He's got insane stats. And of course, we've got Jorginho and a few more there. Reese James, a few more guys there as well. So this is all free. So basically, you pay, play 15 matches, win, lose or draw against the AI or online. And you get all of this stuff in your first 15 games. And then you continue on. The next big kind of uh, hit is a 60-day contract. So regardless of anything, lads, I definitely think you should be playing 30 games, even if it's just simming games, to get these match passes cleared, just to get your 60-day contracts, because we don't know how the contract renewals are going to work. But these will be very valuable if they don't make it, you know, very, very easy for the contract renewals to be, to be done. And then obviously it just rounds it off to 50 levels of free, and it's just going to be all trainer programs. Now, the value pack here, obviously, is going to give you all of the above, as we said, and we also have players, right? So we get a premium and a value pack. The premium pack is going to be a 1,000 if you have previously bought a match pass. If you haven't, this would be 50% off for your first ever match pass that you buy. So if you download the game today and you're buying this match pass for the first time ever and you've never downloaded or played the game before and you've never bought a match pass before, this won't be 500 and 1,000. It'll be 250 and 500. So you can buy the premium for 500 and the value for 250. Now, what this does is basically give you all of the above that I mentioned, as well as Danjuma, right? So Danjuma's card is fairly decent. He's obviously a new sign-in for Ars or for Tottenham. Could get in trouble by saying for Arsenal uh, with the rivalry there. But he's a very good player, man. He's got a very nice player card. Very, very nice player card indeed. Um, he does have as well unwavering form, which is huge. And we do have a lot of player skills, such as long-range shooting, curler, and dipping shot, as well as first-time shot. He also has pinpoint crossing because he can play on either side of the flank. And he does also have amazing run, speeding bullet, and long ranger. So he's a very unique card, I think. When we do go over to eFootball DB and max Danjuma out, he's a fairly decent center forward, man. You're going to get 86 offensive awareness, ball control, dribbling, and tight possession are in the 80s. Dribbling is 88. Then you've got 85 finishing and 88 acceleration with 86 balance. I'm happy with that. I'd be very, very happy with that. If you compare him with the other version that they released way back when, uh, this is a good while ago, like the original card. Um, this was obviously a better card, but it only has six levels to go. So I think that this card overall does have better acceleration. It does have better balance. It does have better offensive awareness and it does have better finishing. So it's an upgrade and it is the best card that they have released so far, in my opinion. Um, I think it's fairly easy to see that. And yeah, he will play a little bit like Romario, I would think. Obviously, he's not as, you know, um, going to be as lethal in front of goal, but he does have everything that you could possibly want in a center forward. If you are new to the game and you have 250 coins, you know, you can actually get this match pass, get Dan Juma, you'll have a really, really, really top class center forward, plus you're going to get all these, and with the, the value match pass, as well as the five-star nominating contracts, the trainer points, as we mentioned before, you're also going to get coins back, so you're going to get 50, you're going to get 100, you're going to get 150, you're going to get 200, so you're going to get the contract renewal and the 50th one here, but you're also going to get 200 coins, and then the rest of it is going to be just empty, right? So that's not going to be a big issue if you do get the value match pass. So basically, you would be getting all of this in the value match pass if you've never bought a match pass before, including Danjuma, and including the fact that you'll be able to get two five-star nominating contracts here, 
Um, or yeah, sorry, one nominating contract here and the four stars. So you'd be able to get Joe Felix and then Juma for 50 coins, basically, because you're going to be getting your other 50 coins back, your 200 coins back. Now on to the premium, right? We'll start with uh, Blind. Obviously, a really, really good player. Blind is one of the most underrated players as well in the game. He does have unwavering form. He has blocker and interception, man marking. He pretty much has every player skill for passing and for... Well, he doesn't have low lofted pass, but he has one touch pass and weighted pass. Oh, he does have low lofted pass. Sorry, I didn't see that there. Um, he does have man marking interception blocker. He doesn't have fighting spirit. We don't really need that. So if you play Blind as a, as a center back, which he can play, or a DMF, he is going to be a monster because we're going to show you his stats maxed out. These are some of the best stats and one of the best cards in the game, like without a doubt. Now, there was a player of the week issue of him where he only had 69 acceleration and 79 aggression. This card has 71 acceleration and 87 aggression. So it's a massive upgrade on that when we train him like this. Now, obviously, this card has better passing, 84 and 86, and he also has better ball control, but this one is not that far behind. You know, you don't need to worry too much about the passing if you are going to be training him up this way. You've got 82 and 81, brings him up to a 90 overall left back. I think that's a better version of him because you've got 92 defensive awareness and 96 defensive engagement, as well as the aggression and the tackling. Blind is like Danilo or he's like Rudiger. He kind of plays very, very aggressively when you're not controlling him. When the AI is controlling him, he seems to be impossible to get past. That could be got to do with his range of player skills and his actual body uh, motion style, as well as his defensive engagement. When the ball goes between 50-50s, he's going to come out more often than not, right? We also do have a look at his kick and power, his acceleration and his speed, which are fairly decent. If you're playing him as a center back, Obviously, his height is a bit of an issue, but I don't think it's going to be a massive concern with the way the game is playing at the moment because it's all about one-touch passing in central areas. You will be able to dominate with him similarly as how you would dominate with somebody like Alaba or somebody like Lissandro Martinez. So he is definitely, definitely a brilliant option to get. And then also with the premium, you are going to be getting all of the above that I mentioned, as well as I think you get two five-star nominating contracts in this one, if I'm not mistaken. So there's the first one and there's the second one. So you would be able to get Jan Sommer and uh, Felix or Oyarzabal or Jorginho or Reese James. As well as this, you're also going to be getting your coins, which are 100 there, 150, 200. And then there's actually extra levels on this one. You're going to get 250 coins and then you're going to get 300 in total at the end there all the way to level 100 which is going to be another 10,000 xp now is it worth it or not that's up to you guys i mean that's completely up to you but i think that the value one if you haven't bought before is definitely a great one blend is a beast there's no doubt about it um but he's not you know he well he is game changing in a way because he's one of the best center backs in the game and he's impossible to get past a lot of the time but the thing is right play as many games as you can and you'll see the tick beside the ones we've already got but these ones with the arrow if we decide that we have ended up playing, you know, 40 games by the by the 16th or the, or the 15th of March when this actually ends, this match pass ends, and we have all these unlocked, we can literally just, you know, buy the value match pass and get everything backdated. So we can get all of these once we have them unlocked. So once we get to 50 here, we're also going to unlock all of these when we purchase and unlock the match pass. So they kind of get backdated. So if you don't have time to play the 50 games, then you don't need to buy the match pass. You know, you want to be clearing the match pass if you are playing it. So if you want to be playing, buying the premium one, you need to be really playing uh, the 100 uh, matches, which is a lot to play in a month, obviously, if you are a casual enough player. So that is it, lads, the match pass. I would say that definitely recommend if you haven't won, bought one already, I think the value one is a really good one to jump in on. And that is it for me. So I hope this helps you out. Any questions, get in touch in the comments below. Peace.